What's up YouTube, it's your boy Danny James and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add gun muzzle flashes the right way. This should essentially be quite straightforward to follow through so that you can add these gun muzzle flashes onto drill music videos especially when rappers are saying cra cra pa pa things like that you want to add some gun effects onto it and make it look somehow interesting now i'll show you where to get these resources before we can go on to this first of all you want to get the gun muzzle flashes i recommend going to footagecrate.com i guess it's vfx.productioncrate.com i link it down below you can come right under these vfx and motion elements choose the muzzle flashes uh, go on to either categories and then you can find one that you can download the only caveat is that the ones marked with a sort of diamond those are for premium members or if you have a paid plan so you want to go for these ones that don't have this diamond shape on it uh, you can get them for free for this effect i wouldn't want to go with the bright flash i want to go with these ones which are kind of orangish again to download them you have to create an account so you can use one of your spare emails to create an account so i downloaded like five of them they are here on my downloads folder uh, inside so i downloaded like seven of them now something that is equally important to pull off this look is adding a gunshot sound just search on youtube gunshot sound I was able to find some really good ones. I took this one, which is like a single shot. You also have these single gunshot sound effects all sound, so you can preview them. Uh, let me just play it. Yeah, so this is like one shot. And then there is this video, which has like different variations. This should also quite uh, reflect. In case you need other sounds, which involve the variety of gunshots, I have an essential sound effects pack on my website that you can check out yeah so now that we figured how to get our resources and where to get them let's now jump into our timeline to start off we need to import our items which are the gun muzzle flashes and the audio so here's the gunshot sound i'll add it to my project bin and then i'll go to my video and bring in the muzzle flashes all together so now that we've brought in our assets into our folder it's time to just piece it all together we need to identify where to put it inside that clip so let me just play it back yeah here after he says you're jacking the apps and the ass get popped so here it is right at this point you can see we have a high tone so i'll bring in one of the muzzle flashes i'll bring the second one here okay okay second thing you want to do you want to scale it however you want i can also rotate it and i can position it sort of centrally again uh for this muzzle flash i don't like uh this part to the right doesn't really matter but i'll draw a quick mask around it uh like this okay just feather it a little bit that's good Yeah, so it appears at the right moment. Again, uh, at the same instance, which we have that muzzle flash coming in, you also want to cut your video at that point. So get your razor tool, cut the video, which is right at the bottom, cut the video. Uh, maybe for that half second, not for the entire duration. So I'll cut it up to here. So I guess that's like five frames. Okay, just for two frames. And then on that clip, Within that clip, you want to increase the exposure. You can add a brightness and coloring. You can also go to your Lumetri and increase the exposure for that clip like that. You can come back. That's done. And the last step is just adding the sound effect. So go to your project pane. I'll get the sound effect. I'll import it, put it right there, and then I'll make sure to place it correctly. I feel like those three steps are just the basic fundamentals you need to understand. And now let's play it back from the top. Mm, yeah, so you can feel that gunshot and also the visual effect of it. It also makes sense. Again, you can reduce the volume if it's a bit too much. Just quite a bit. Yeah, I'll reduce the intensity and 
and I think it should now be good to go. In case you need to add other effects, you can add an RGB curve to it. Let me see. RGB curve. Add the RGB curves to the gun muzzle effect. You can tweak some settings if you really want something different. Okay, so I've made it a bit more orangish. And if you want it to be more intense, you can just duplicate that clip. And then maybe for the clip that's beneath, you can increase the scaling just a little bit. It's just a little bit bigger than the other one. So I guess that's good to go. Let's preview this from the top. Perfect. Okay, now something else before I forget. If you really want to take this to the next level or really spice it up, you can look for breaking glass green screen clips so just go on youtube breaking glass green screen you should find different clips that could really match up with the vibe i really like this second clip here and a better one is this four minute video it has different ones and also some have bullet holes so it can really sell this idea download it and then bring it into your timeline click on it you should be able to see the different variations that are here Especially since we are doing a gun muzzle effect, we have these bullet holes. They can really work out well. I also like that one. So just drag and drop it into your timeline. Let me just look at it from here. Scale it to frame size if it's not. So let's try. Okay, I'll cut two of them that we'll try. So let me cut this one here. Okay, let's cut this one and then this one looks cool. So you have two of them that you can experiment. Go to your effects, bring an ultra key so that you can key out the green. Put the ultra key there. Okay, and we're just knocking out the green for both clips. Okay, so I believe when we mix all these three, the audio, which is for like the gunshots, and then the overlay videos for the gun muzzle flashes are here. Make sure to put the shattering glass beneath those two. The glass shouldn't be on top of these clips, but below. And then you want at this moment of impact, you want it to be right here. Okay, so let's scale it just a bit. I think it looks good. Let me play it together with the audio from the top. Yeah, and then make sure that it goes away from the screen. So I'll put a cross dissolve to just end it. You can also increase the exposure maybe on this clip with the one which has the shattered glass. I'll increase the exposure. That's good. Now let's experiment this other one here. Make sure the moment of impact starts where everything else begins. Oh, and then I'll increase the exposure. I think I just want to increase the exposure. It looks better. It's just a little bit. And then let's play it from the top and make sure that it has a cross dissolve to it and so that it disappears before the second clip so let's play it from the top yeah so you can see it really brings together this realism uh, which makes the effect even better yeah so that's quite simple to follow through and recreate if you do end up doing something like this to one of your videos you can tag me on instagram in case you have any questions or suggestion or anything to add on to this video you can leave it on the comment box i'm happy to respond anyway i hope you guys found this video useful if you enjoyed this kind of content make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads and if you did enjoy this video at all kindly give it a like so that it's recommended to other guys with the same interest as you my name is danny james see you in the next video peace